Hi everyone, welcome to Pollywin, what we call Match Lake. Either either, but in the festivals, that's what we call it, Match Lake. So just gonna give you a little bit of a rundown of the lake. It's a bit iggledy piggledy this one to be honest, especially in your festival. So starting off with the arms, from sort of 41 round to 19, I would say average is about five, five and a half foot. Then when you come down from 21 all the way round to 22, it's a very similar depth here, about five, five and a half foot down the middle. Maybe a bit shallower in areas, but it's shallower. And then again, from sort of one all the way around to sort of seven, it's a very similar depth down the middle. Then when you get from sort of peg nine, it widens up and you go from nine all the way round to sort of what I would say roughly about 32, 33. And around here, I would stab a guess, it says seven, eight foot, that wouldn't be a million mile off to be honest. On the high bank, the famous high bank, I would say it's probably about nine foot. And again, all the way down to here, to sort of peg nine, 10, it's a very similar depth. Now, the sections in the festival, again, it's a bit here, there and everywhere. It depends on how many people are fishing, but the way that it's pegged, they just try and make it as fair as possible. So, if you're on the high bank, there's a good chance you're gonna be in with the rest of the lads on the high bank, but you'll also be in with some of the pegs on the point, depending on what side of the high bank you are, and again, how many people are fishing, you'll be in with sort of 19, 20, 21, 22, and uh, yeah, 19, 20, not 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's how they peg the section. So if you're in this bit, you're in with these lads. If you're down here, you're in with these as well. They just try and make it as fair as possible. So today, we're gonna do a bit of fishing. Hi everyone, this clip was taken from our Match Focus website. I'm going to be adding a lot more content to our Match Focus YouTube channel. But if you'd like to watch the video in full, a more in-depth look at the rigs, the feeding, bay and decision making, then just head over to the website at matchfocus.co.uk. I'd really, really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to our Match Focus YouTube channel as it really does help us grow. I hope you enjoy watching the video. If it were a match today, I would definitely be starting off on a method feeder. And the reason, well, one of the reasons for that is a method's a really, really good way of catching some early fish like because it's quite wide here starting shorts not really the way you're almost better off starting off on a method feeder and also by starting off on a method feeder my waggler line and my bomb line i need to prime it like to make it work i can't just go out and start slapping my rig and expect to catch i need to prime it i need to build it up and exactly the same with my bomb stroke waggler line so just so i started my match chuck my method feeder out set my rod set my stopwatch then what I'd be looking to do is start priming my pole line. So I'd be feeding sort of eight to 10, six mil pellets twice on my pole line at about 14 and a half meters. Then I'd feed sort of five or six pellets on my waggler line twice. So that, by doing that, starting off on a meth feeder, I've got a really, really good chance catching a few carp early. But what tends to happen here, because every peg's in, you don't get a lot of space. So you seem to sort of have to nick fish. Maybe catch one or two on a meth feeder, have a go on a waggler, catch an odd and on that. You know, going on your pole line, you might catch a few shallow, then they back off, back on a waggler, having a go on a bomb, you know, and then late on, you might catch some on the bottom on your pole line. When you're fishing your matches, especially on the high bank, because every peg's in, you do have to move about at times. And if it's a good day and you're fishing for a bigger weight, then you just catch more fish on one line before you have to move. So it's really, really important to be priming your lines. Again, a few seconds there. But you can see when I've hooked one then, just like the other time, you know, they're in my peg and they're sat waiting for them pellets. And your peg will change throughout the day. Like normally what happens when you're doing this, this tends to happen. You know, a brilliant way of fishing like this, to be honest, is when everyone else comes off of it, when you've got it all to yourself and you're the only one fishing and feeding. You know, early on, then normally the way that we started doing this, casting, anticipate that bite, then feed, wind in, give it a twitch, 
that's the way to catch them. But your peg can change, you know, of how many fish are in your peg, and you've just got to change with it. Like I say, the biggest bit of advice I can give you is when you put it into your pole fishing, it all sort of, sort of makes a bit more sense then. Now, I don't know if this is a small car or an F1. Like some of the F1s are honestly there absolutely ginormous in here feels a bit more like a carp to be honest so just take my time with him the one thing with the match lake is you know sometimes you can have absolutely brilliant days and, you know 150 180 pound can be really really you know good fishing but then you can come other times and you know, 60, 70 pound, even on this high bank can be an absolutely brilliant way. So it's just about, you know, trying to make the most of the opportunities as and when you get them. The thing is, is, is on these festivals as well, like some people, they try, they try and do too much at times. And with this, it is a bit more of a, not, I wouldn't say a bottle job, but you've got to spend a bit of time on it, building it up keep feeding, keep casting, and you'll get your rewards out of the blue. So, lovely fish. A nice carp. Look how hard they are to catch sometimes, they don't half pull. Take my time with him. the thing with that with that weather now it is quite difficult but just try and get your drop right that's the biggest bit of advice I can give you really with your casting like having a having a nice drop on your flow and your flow is going to go out a lot lower so that's a lovely fish again hooked you know his mouth's sort of a lot bigger you know he can quite easily fit a big eight mil coppins in there no no problems but when you're fishing for a mixture of fish you know that's one thing i would say biggest tip i can give you